So I have a bit of a reputation for hating on Linux Mint, and that reputation is well deserved. But that doesn't mean that I look down on anybody who uses it. If you like Linux Mint, that's great. That's what makes Linux awesome. You can use whatever the hell you want. It's not necessarily for me, but whatever. But let's just say you're one of those people who like Linux Mint. And you're looking to try out a tiling window manager like, say, DWM. Now, DWM is not hard to install. It's just not. It has a reputation for being very prickly towards new users and that reputation is also uh, deserved but it's not actually hard to install even on Linux Mint so today what I'm going to do is show you how to install DWM on Linux Mint and the associated programs that you'll need to get up and running so let's go ahead and jump in so the first thing we'll need to do is install the dependencies on systems like Arch, these dependencies are usually pre-installed, but anything based on Debian, Ubuntu, anything like that, you're going to have to install these dependencies, and it's just the way it is. So there are a few of them that you're going to have to do. So I will also put these in the show notes so you can just go ahead and copy and paste them if you want, but I'm going to go ahead and just type them in here. So it's going to be sudo apt install rofi lib lib x11 dash dev lib z i n e r a m a dash dev s h r s h a r utils and then uh, lib xft dash dev and l i b c six and then we'll also need fe uh, wget curl git. And we'll also need a terminal that we can use. So in this case, we'll probably download kitty. I think kitty is going to be in the repos. So we'll go ahead and hit enter. And we'll enter our password. And then hit yes for that to install. And that will take a minute to install. There may be another one that we have to install later on. I'm not exactly sure. Sometimes you need to install suckless utils or su suckless tools. Sometimes you don't. We'll, we'll see if that, how it works. We'll know whether or not suckless builds or not. So the next thing we do once this is installed is we actually need to go through and download the suckless utilities that we're going to use. So in this case, we're going to need DWM, ST, and DMenu. Uh, all three of those things are obviously needed. Obviously, you'll need DWM, but ST is the default terminal that DWM uses. And while it will make without it, it's just easier to have it on hand just in case you need it. It's not hard to build. And a D menu is the program launcher that DWM uses as well. You can use Rofi. I've installed Rofi um, here just a minute ago. Uh, because I'm used to doing that, uh, but you don't actually have to do that, so that's not a dependency. I just happen to prefer Rofi, but I'm still going to download DMenu because DMenu by default has uh, some code inside of uh, DWM's configuration file that you know relies on it. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. So you can pretty much download DWM and all those tools wherever you want, but I always go into my .config file. And I make a directory, so make directory suckless, if I can spell. And then I cd into suckless, and this is where I will clone all of the suckless utilities that I'm going to use. Because in, in my build, I always happen to have several of them. I have DWM, ST, Tabbed, DMenu, Surf. This way they can all go in one place. So the next thing you'll need to do is go into a web browser and go to suckless. Dot org Oops. and of course I can't spell so now we can go there we go and then we want to click on DWM up here at the top scroll down and we just want to go ahead and copy this line here now after a while you'll have this uh, whole line here just memorized but it's just easier for me to show you this is basically just going to clone DWM we'll hit enter and that will clone it obviously again 
This will only work if you have Git installed, so that's why we installed Git earlier. Uh, we also want to go back up here and do st, and it's, there's another line that we'll need to copy. It is right here. Make sure you can actually see that on camera, and I'm not covering up with my fat face. Yep, and that'll work. And that's st. And then we also need to do dwm, which is under tools. And then uh, let's see here, dwm, or excuse me, D menu is what we're looking for here. It's right there. And then we can also just get our D menu. And then I keep saying the wrong thing there. And we'll do that one. So that's D menu. So those three are the ones that we need. Now, if we've done everything right, we can actually go through and make those things now. So if we CD into DWM, which actually what we'll do here is do an LS. And we see we have D menu, DWM, and ST. So if we CD into DWM, and then we just do make, and we do sudo. If you get this output here, that means you've done everything right and you have all the dependencies. If you've missed a dependency, it will actually list out the dependencies that you need. The unfortunate thing is that it doesn't use the same package name. So you'll have to kind of search around for package name that Ubuntu slash Linux Mint slash Debian or whatever actually uses. But as long as you have gone through and done the dependencies that I've shown you, you should just be able to get this output here and you've made it just fine. Fine. So now we just need to do sudo make install and then you're done. It w if you haven't already, it will ask you there to, to enter a password, but uh, I've already done that. So DWM is done. So if we do cd in dot dot slash st, that brings us to the st folder. We'll do make again and sudo make install and then we'll clear this again and cd dot dot slash d menu and then make. Now, you'll see here, we've actually ended up with a few errors. This is normal. Okay, it, uh, it just means that there are some things that are unused. Usually, or there are a few other errors, but as long as you don't have um, a make error down here at the bottom, it'll say make error equals one or something like that at the bottom, if you actually have an error that is fatal to, to, to the build. And we didn't get that, so we should be fine. So we go ahead and do, do sudo make install here again, and it does just fine. Now, we have DWM installed. We have all the things that we need to use DWM installed. Now, if you were on a system that wasn't using a display manager, you'd be done because you could go through and just do start X in you know, whatever, and then start up DWM that way. But because I'm using a display manager, in other words, I have a login screen when I log into my computer, I actually have to go through and do one more step. And that is going to be putting an entry into our X sessions folder so that we can actually choose D the DWM session in our display manager. So in order to do this, we need to do CD into slash user share X sessions. Okay, and if we do an LS right now, all we'll see are the Cinnamon desktop because that's all I have installed or that's all that my display manager sees that I have installed. But what we need to do is do sudo touch dwm.desktop. Okay, now if we do an LS, we have the DWM one there. Now if we do sudo vim dwm.desktop, and I'm not going to have vim installed, so I need to do sudo apt install vim. Once again, I will make the comment that Vim should just be a standard package that every distro ships. I mean, it really just should. I mean, <laughs> I don't want to use Nano, people. Nano's, you know, not great. It's not for me. So sudo vim dwm.desktop. And then what we're going to want to do is put in the necessary components of a file like this. And they all look exactly the same, just with different words. And basically what this does is it tells your display manager what to launch, what to execute. What's basically what it's doing is it's executing a binary from your path. And it's very simple. So what we need to do is go into insert mode and do bracket desktop entry and then close bracket and then no sp then a space encoding. We got to make sure you spell everything right. E encoding. There we go. I'm still making sure I'm spelling this right. E N C O D I N G. Good, good Lord, Matt. Spelling is hard. U T F dash 
eight. Okay, and then name equals DWM, and then comment equals the die. It, this can really, literally be anything, it doesn't really matter. Um, and then exec equals DWM, and then uh, icon equals DWM, and type equals X session. And you want to make sure you get the capitalization right in these certain spots. So this one here has to be capital X, capital S, and then the rest of the word session. Uh, this one, I'm not sure whether or not that has to be capitalized or not. I always have done, so I just do it. Because, um, I mean, it, you don't want it to break. And then I always put a couple extra lines after this. Whether or not it's needed or not, I don't know. Sometimes I, I, I seem to remember getting an error when there wasn't a, a couple lines afterwards, but I don't know whether or not that's actually true or not. Whatever. It's just easier for me to do it and, uh, you know, not get errors. So then we just want to save this. So dub colon WQ and we're done. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this recording here and I'm going to log out and log into DWM and make sure it actually worked. Uh, and then we'll be done. So give me just a second. See you on the other side, as they say. Okay, and as you can see, we have DWMs. Now, if you're brand new to DWM, just a few extra things just to help you out. The default super key in DWM is the alt key. Now, you can change this easily in the settings, and it's easy to look up how to do that. But just know that if you want to get into a terminal, alt, shift, and enter will get you into a terminal. This is ST. That's why we install it. And we, you can quit by alt, shift, enter and C, and you can get into D menu by Alt and P. Those are the three that you're gonna need in order to launch programs, launch a terminal, and close programs. So that's, will get you off the ground, and then you can always make changes if we open up a terminal here and do sudo, oh, oops, if we zoom in here, so in order to zoom in, it's Control, Shift, and Page Up in ST, and if we cd into .config, suckless, DWM, we remove our config.h folder. We don't have to do this. I always just do because it will remake that when you do a make command. And we do add us them into config.def.h. We can go through down here and change our mod key right here. And we can change this to mod for mask. And we can change then whatever key bindings we want down here in the key binding section easy as that and then when, when then when you're done you just save that and then do su make and sudo make install and then that is literally how you make changes so that's dwm that's how you do it now now that is it for this video that's literally all there is uh, you'll have to forgive the lack of a border around my face uh logging out and logging back in messed around with OBS for some reason. I don't, I really had to reinstall it. It's really dumb. I don't like Linux Mint. <laughs> uh, something was went funky there. Anyways, um, if you have questions, leave them below in the comments. I will try to help you. I'm not tech support, so if I don't get back to you for a few days, or if I don't get back to you at all, I apologize for that. I have other things to do, but I will try if you leave a question and have, you know, or have a question, I'll try to help you. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at the LinuxCast. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast. Uh, right now, unfortunately, because I don't have all my gra fancy graphics, I can't thank all my patrons by name. So um, I, I know if I switch to patron, there will actually be nothing there. So uh, thank you to the patrons, even though your name is not on the screen. I do apologize for that. This is probably the first time since I've had Patreon uh, that I haven't been able to do that. So, so I don't have your names memorized, unfortunately. I, I, I just don't. So thanks, everybody, for supporting me on Patreon. If you haven't already, uh, you can go do so. It's really easy, and I do appreciate everybody who supports me. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you next time.